federal, state, local lawmakers all reacting to news of the governor's resignation today. Yeah, News Channel 9's Adrian Smith joins us now live in studio. So, Adrian, most if not all of these people we've talked to thought he should resign anyway. We assume they are on board with the governor's decision at midday? Well, Dan Christie, that's right. Every lawmaker that reached out to us did say that they stand by Governor Cuomo's decision to resign and believe it's in the best interest of everyone. The attorney general, whose investigation triggered calls for the governor to resign, says that this is an important step towards justice. Some lawmakers are praising the women who stepped forward and detailed their interactions with the governor. Others say it's a sad day for the state because there are still many questions that need to be answered. In the last couple of hours, we've heard from former governor George Pataki, assembly minority leader Will Barclay, and Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh, and here's what they had to say. This should not end right here. I don't know that impeachment is necessary, but I do think investigations are necessary. What was the cause of that nursing home decision? Was it influenced by lobbyists or donations? What was the cause or what are the consequences of the governor misusing state resources to give his family special benefits during the height of the COVID crisis and to perhaps use state workers to help them write his book? Uh, there are so many unanswered questions uh, that this should not be the end. We spent a lot of money. We've had five months of an investigation. We've spent a lot of money uh, hiring outside counsel to conduct this investigation. And it seems wholly appropriate to me that we should continue on and bring it to a close. One, to get accountability, and two, uh, to learn any lessons so we can you know, institute or enact legislation to prevent any of this from happening again. I'm not concerned at this point. I was when there was uncertainty around going to happen with the governor, but knowing that the lieutenant governor is going to be uh, taking the reins, uh, again, I found her to be uh, very much aligned with, uh, with all of us here locally on our priorities. She understands how important the 81 project is and how important it is to move it forward quickly. Uh, so I expect to pick up where we left off, whether you're talking about 81, the STEAM school, uh, or just managing the pandemic. The, the sooner we have stable state government, the better, and today was an important step in that direction. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, the next governor, said in a statement she agrees with Cuomo's decision to step down, saying in part it is the right thing to do and is in the best interest of New Yorkers as someone who has served at all levels of government and is in the next line in, in secession. I am prepared to lead as New York State's 57th governor. Christy.